Are you a coder who gets rejected based on no practical experience or because others have a strong LinkedIn personal brand and you don't? Your coaching institute will hate me for doing this. But I welcome you to Code to Career 30 Days Challenge where I have chosen these 5 total strangers out of my LinkedIn contacts and have taken up the challenge to help them go from jobless or underpaid to well paid job that too without additional degrees and certifications in the next 30 days. If you are a coder and wants to get a well paid job, this is your golden chance to experience real project implementation from scratch that gets you a well paid job and builds your LinkedIn personal brand and also resume for absolutely free. So why just watch? Get into our WhatsApp community to experience this. Link is in the description. Now let's get started. So I officially now welcome you to Code to Career Challenge 3. Let us start. Let me share the screen. Before I share the screen, one question. How many of you have gone through the workbook, at least glanced it once and also went through the worksheets or the handouts? If you have done, type me in the chat box. I have seen it. I, I just had a look. Okay. Great. If you see the second document, which is about network programming, a bit about network programming and also UDP had server code and client code in that. How many of you observed that? Type C for code <coughs> that you have seen the document and you notice that there is code. Okay. Yes. Now here is the thing. Every handout will talk more deeper and particular aspects of the project. There will be also a particular project requirements document that you will be given. We are going to adopt or use test driven development so that you embrace and you know the best way of creating a project. Yeah. And along with that, wherever I felt that a template code and now when I say a template code, it is not a code that just a bare bone. It is a code which will properly work. It, it actually does what it is supposed to do. Nevertheless, take that piece of code as a as an indication or something based on which you can write your own code. The real fun comes when you start writing your own code. Yeah. That's where and also how to write the code. Where, where should you start? Those things also will be mentioned. Everything and handout will be given. Wherever I feel that some extra information can be given like for embedded Linux and all those things. Those pieces also will be given. But understand that the project proper as such is not an embedded Linux part. Linux particular project. Nevertheless, the project can be condensed and ported onto one particular platform. So how the porting has to be done, what can, what needs to be done, you will get a handout. Am I clear? Type C if you are clear till now. Great. So let's, let me talk about few guidelines. Attendance is very, very important. Handouts you will get, but before every session we start, there will be a Q&A part where your queries will be answered. Do not keep any query to yourself because one doubt that you harbor inside yourself and you are not addressing it will ultimately boil down to some lack about the project. And I want you to complete the project. The reason why the price that is attached to the project and I said that is refundable is only to bring that element of consistency and attendance. Is that clear? So the refund thing comes 
with this one this one condition which contains two actions <coughs> you show up every day for every session yes if you are at some some work and you you can't come on to camera perfectly all right but as much as possible if you can come on to the camera please do come on to the camera let other people also know you the, the, this is the community that forms wherein tomorrow you have certain opportunity from your side that you can ask people if somebody says that i have these openings who is interested that's where the real help of the community comes so my sincere request would be for people who can be on their camera please be on camera it it builds that warmth and nearness that's the first thing and the second only action i told only two actions one is that you have to show your attendance and the second one is be consistent with respect to the development of the code pushing onto the github and then making one post on linkedin about your commit let the world know that you are someone who is now familiar with how to implement a working code a particular feature on linux jab tak khud ke bare mein baat karo jab tak tab tak baat karo jab duniya dekhega that you are something then it will start about talking about yourself until that time you need to talk about yourself and that talking has to happen in a very authoritative way linux is a very powerful keyword systems programming is a very powerful keyword embedded linux is a very powerful keyword and the project that we are talking about is also one of the powerful keywords and this 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 project is so popular this keyword is so popular that it is used in automotive it is used if you want to work with me personally where i guarantee to work with you until you secure a well paid job book a one on one call with me link is in the description used in iot kind of applications and now it is being deployed in other domains also medical and all those things <laughs> yeah clear so far so let me go ahead and share the screen can i know if the screen is visible yes yaranji is it is the screen visible yes one see yeah in this kickstart meeting we are going to talk about three things and what are those three things one is the handout that is given to you today and one is the handout that is going to come to you on friday and the one that is going to come to you on monday every day or before every session the subsequent morning or the that day the day when the session happens that morning you will get the handout and that hand that that uh, the time will be i believe is sufficient enough for you to finish the previous handout study and whatever is the work and that one day before entering into the session you will at least look through the handout and very fastly read and come to the session with that intention i ensured that most of the handouts do not cross more than four pages and the one handout or two handouts which cross beyond two pages contain code other than that the theory part will be very less if at all there will be any theory it will be only for two pages today let us understand why this introduction to networking what is tdd and the linux project overview today you will also understand what that project we are going to implement and how we talk about the different use cases any code or any kind of work which is not solving a problem is as good as not having the code or the project at all so the project that we are going to implement addresses one specific use case there there are two or two or three use cases that i encountered where this can be used and this is very popular there are very popular use cases but this pop this use case that i thought about 
is something very near to what is happening. So we will go ab about with that use case. So we, the agenda of today's session would be introduction. I will tell about the session topics overview. We will understand a bit about UDP communication and that is precisely why the reason you have the handout with UDP server code and also the client code. We will understand a bit about test driven development and you will find in the handouts after the project introduction how to use test driven development and your actual development of the project starts once you know about test driven development. I gave most of the use cases that are needed for, for the project minus implementation for few use cases i also gave the implementation if you see the project kickoff we are going to talk about something called as lightweight trivial file transfer protocol so we are going to implement a well-known popular protocol called file transfer protocol it is not so big enough and also it is not so trivial it exactly fits for the 30 day time duration. And if I consider the number of sessions that we take, the 13 sessions that we meet, it is good enough to come conclude. It is based on a well-written RFC. There are subsequent advancements that are added to that trivial file, trivial, uh, file transfer protocol. It is widely used in industry and it is based on UDP, user datagram protocol. So what is happening now for you is you are creating, gaining knowledge about something related to networking. TFTP very heavily relies on system programming. You, you will get to know about the socket programming. You will understand how that particular file transfer protocol that you are implemented can be used to solve one or more than one use cases. I will talk about one use cases. You can come up with other ideas where this protocol can be used. And finally, any question and answers for this session that you have, we will go through it. So welcome to Code Together Challenge again. The objective is to equip you with respect to networking skills embedded systems through hands-on project development and test-driven development. Predominantly, keep your mind open for systems programming, but do not miss out the embedded part of it. The project, once it is implemented, we will have a complete session dedicated, of, dedicated towards porting that particular application onto one of the boards. I may not show the complete board support package, but I will be showing where or what areas that you need to consider so that this particular file transfer protocol can be put onto one of the embedded devices. Could be your BeagleBone, could be your Raspberry Pi, or even any high-end controller that you can think of because Linux supports so many platforms. So what are these two se today's session overviews? The three sessions that you are going to co cover and the three documents that you are going to get one you have already seen is the basic networking programming. One is definitely the way that you have to implement in terms of, sorry, uh, getting the environment up and running and all those things. The second session that we are going to have on Friday, that a handout of which that is going to come, would be around test-driven development. All aspects of test-driven development will be addressed in this session. You follow this process, Tomorrow, any project that you encounter, right from the requirements, you will have enough understanding to create a document and then convert into a code. We will talk about trivial file transfer protocol and I will also today reveal the use case that I have, which you can implement if you have two devices. When I say two devices, you will develop TFTP protocol on one, one side of the device or one board. You can attach it to another board and you can do the operation that I'm, or you can realize the use case that I'm going to talk about. Till now, any questions? At the end, I understand there will be questions, but till now, if there are any questions, please unmute and ask. 
okay anirudh says no which kind of uh, board or something like he will be attaching ah when you develop the particular uh, protocol layer any board where in the linux kernel is easy to port especially easy to enable ethernet or wifi see we can go for any physical layer and let me tell you very honestly in code to career challenge 1 and challenge 2 i downplayed that stuff now what do i mean by i, do I downplayed the stuff we were in the second project which is about smart thermostat the physical layer could have been ethernet or wifi but i i made it the project so trivial that people consider it con started considering it very insignificant what i am trying to say once the high level layers are done the bits and bytes has to travel through the physical layer clear that we cannot that that is obvious now how much intelligence can i put on physical layer means in terms of is it that i take something like i2c only wherein i just put i2c data and i put the address the internal silicon knows how to send that clock signal and how to send the data i don't play any big role there why if you want to work with me personally where i guarantee to work with you until you secure a well paid job book a one on one call with me link is in the description is a versa if i want, if i have to take if i take usb yes still the buffer data and other things have to be done but usb the particular end device has to be detected there is there is a usb stack you might have heard of this term right that is a usb stack implies that somebody should know how to configure the usb stack or do anything to finally reach to my physical layer and get my bytes bits and bytes transferred now take any other protocol wifi it has its own specification bluetooth it has its own specification it has its own stack ethernet it has its own stack but what i did i just told forget about all the things in fact the second project we implemented a http server we toned down the http server so that it becomes very thin and nimble people were struggling with what to how to send the data i told assume you want communication ultimately farak kya padta hai bits and bytes to jana hai kuch to physical layer hona hai so i told you what and people struggled to get even that driver the lesson that i learned we human we humans we can adapt to any environment if we downsize ourselves and we play a small game we we take we take only small things if we push ourselves and take something big we will fall in between so here any board where you feel that the ethernet drivers or bluetooth drivers the chipset is easily available you can take that board does this answer your question yes yeah i don't want you to spend time there i want you to spend time on the use case and implementing the tftp to a level so that you tell to the people you tell you put the github commits very regularly somebody look at your github profile understands that you have gone through a complete cycle of implementation you have a story to narrate in interview do the project for the sake not for the sake of project but the with the clear intention that you are you root yourself saying that after this project koi mera haath pakad nahi payega at least to the level that i understood in this project do i have your commitment in that one aspect because at the end of the day this project will change if you use it in a proper manner the trajectory of your growth because the use case is so powerful and it is being used in telematics car to car communication they say right v to v v to x and all those things it has that potential so now you, i want to clarify one more question why tftp i gave two answers very simple rfc how many pages 14 pages rfc 
that's it it has few enhancements with respect to error detection or something the best part is even though it is running on top of udp which is asynchronous not like tcp right there is no big windowing mechanism and all those things on udp still understand that tftp actually transports a file voice data i understand if there is a glitch video data i understand if there is a glitch but if i am sending a jpeg image where at the end some checksum has to be calculated then i cannot afford to miss any one byte making sense so tftp had an inbuilt acknowledgement mechanism so you have the best of both worlds आप टीसीपी जैसा बड़ा प्रोटोकॉल नहीं पकड़ रहे हो यूडीपी ही पकड़ रहे हो बट यू स्टिल अंडरस्टैंड द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ रिलायबिलिटी बिकॉज टी एफ टीपी एंश्योर दैट मेकिंग सेंस द ट्रांसिशन टू एनी अदर रिलायबल प्रोटोकॉल विद रीट्रांसमिशन मैकेनिज्म इज नाउ नोन टू यू ओ अच्छा ऐसा होता है क्या एंड यू एंड टी एफ टीपी मेंटेन्स सिंगल विंडो that for every every acknowledgement if you don't get it you know that one byte has to be sent it's not a big window kind of tcp clear okay so the important topic is that today we will cover a bit are the core networking concepts which we have already encountered like i when i started explaining the rational behind why i choose the tftp and why you why why not any other protocol why i am aligning the project towards one particular use case which we are going to discuss in future and how it can be converted into an embedded linux project and put on to the board and really can be realized or the use case can be actually realized UDP characteristics connectionless best effort delivery the document already contains server and the client program now this is where some hands on is what i expected from you even if you don't know any socket programming just go ahead and type whatever is there in the document console one compile run it put some dummy ip address or loopback address and from the client try to connect to the server and start sending some information why i said linux linux and all those things and why i also emphasized to pick up a board where the linux kernel wo uh, custom kernel aapko mil hi chuka hai because when you are creating your custom kernel disable the UD, disable the tftp or mostly people don't enable it but you have your own application which is running on top of it too much to take all these things in 30 days but enough to consider that tftp will do a decent amount of work and we implement it Sim develop a simple udp client and server code hai aapke paas it's in the document type it and experience it socket programming way back it has been implemented till now no other ipc communication was able to replace socket when it comes to communication between two processes which are distributed apart so this is these are the concepts that we if you have any questions we can take time to discuss about these things because there are many ipc mechanisms within the system that you can talk like pipe and all those things between one processes that are in the same space but two different processes spread across two different things you have this socket mechanism i want you to get a comprehensive view of this ipc mechanism and under this inter process communication i want you to look at single system kind of stuff and the distributed kind of thing so practical udp example client and server you already had socket creation binding sending and receiving messages error handling and response acknowledgement now what is the most important thing that i want you to focus here 
there is a logic with respect to how the server clients get created, server and client. In, in both the places, creating a socket is the default action. Closing the socket is default action. But binding, receiving, server listens, client sends. The, there is a logical way in which the particular function calls gets created. You bind to one socket. Now, when you want to say that I want to create a server. Now, why, why is that you claim to be a server? Because you have certain services that you can provide to a client that is requesting you. Simple. Now, here comes even the service-oriented architecture. At a very high level, you think, you think of anything that I want to provide, I will provide it as a service. The moment you make a statement that Mere paas a capability hai and I want to provide it as a service, the service oriented architecture defines that there has to be a well-defined application programming interface so that the back-end implementation of different entities that are exchanging the service or making use of the service, even though they change because the interface between these two services are not changing, backend may make kuch bhi change kar sakta hun. As long as I don't change the circular steering, I can put any backend mechanism which can turn the wheel. Making sense? Now, there is another aspect that you will understand in this project execution. Not a concept like service oriented architecture, which obviously is there, but how to bring the object oriented programming concepts and realize these things. How many of you are aware of object oriented programming? Some experience with maybe C that I, yes, I heard about object oriented programming. I know what is UML. Type me in the chat box. Okay. Kaji says, yep. Chiranjeev, yes. Okay. <coughs> Bonesh says, yes. Okay. These all things are also provided to you as documents. Nevertheless, my strong suggestion would be when you are in doubt, ask. The greatest disadvantage or the, the greatest mistake that you can do in your life, especially when you are trying to develop something and all those things as a developer, is to assume. Assumption se usse code nahi banta hai. At the end of the day, the code has to get into the device and it has to work. We are always trying to see how close we reach and align with the requirements because we have compiler and assembler in, be in between us which can interpret anything the more cl clarity with which we tell compiler this is what i want through our language whichever is the case in this in this case c language the compiler understands anyways we have we eliminated lot of this ambiguity because we use something called as APIs and there are packages which are proven to be working reliably and as per the context. Nevertheless, the context can change so drastically that something will not work as per our expectation. I am not talking about that, that extreme case. But bear in mind that these kind of gaps that you plant in between through the course of your project execution, karma will come and bite you that you will find in your code at the end some bugs that pile up. And I'm not talking something very unusual. People who are working, they know it very well. Some call it technical debt, debt and all those whatever it is. So don't accumulate. Just ask questions. And I believe we are mature enough to discuss in our group. That's why I did not put any restrictions in the group. Keep asking questions, share knowledge and try to do the best use of this opportunity. <coughs> now, why trust driven development? Because of 
because of the logic in the test-driven test development when I first heard about it and I did a small driver-based implementation for, I mean, I implemented a driver using the test-driven development. I instantly fell in love with it. Because you write a test case, the code itself is not existing, it fails, obviously. Code in a year to fail ho jayega. Then I incrementally start developing the code in such a way that the test case pass. Now, at, at what level I can ensure that it will fail or it will pass? To what granularity can I go? Is all left to me, which means I can break the requirements to very, very granular level and start addressing one by one requirement. Now, help me understand. Other requirement koi itna hum break karenge. That one requirement, I slice it into five sub requirements. And for every sub requirement, I write a test case, it fails. Then I implement some code, it passes. When all these five sub cases gets executed, is not my top level requirement getting satisfied? Am I writing extra code? Still see the beauty of test driven development. Still the test driven development says that at the end, refactor. You still have that refactor of step. Very less bugs. As far as I understand with my experience with test driven development will be those bugs where your understanding of the If you want to work with me personally, where I guarantee to work with you until you secure a well-paid job, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link is in the description. Requirement itself is at fault. Tabhi toh aapka test case aisa ban gaya hai, tabhi toh aapne wo code likha hai na. When your understanding of requirement is correct, why will you go wrong? And yes, I love the last part. Code documentation through tests. How many of you know, or how many of you are familiar with Linux environment and and used tools or utilities like Make, Doxygen, Doxygen is a documentation creation. Uh, how many of you use tools like Lint, Static Analysis, yeah, make file. Yes. <coughs> when I say make, yeah, make file. How many of you heard about these things? Okay, Anand, that is not familiar. So how is it? You get some you get some document about these Linux tools. Will will that help you? And whenever the time comes, time comes in sense, at regular intervals, I can let you know if there is some tool that you can use, provide the documentation and something. And then when your code is maturing, you can start using those tools. You are not doc familiar with lint, docs and static analysis, some idea I have on make. I thought about this. Okay, I use make, docsend, and xvon for static analysis. Okay. <laughs> you write make files or you do the make command and you just see that, okay, it is happening. Because the make ecosystem itself, because make can make, one make file can call multiple make files and there is a thing that people do. So you yeah, can... So, yeah, so I can write the make files from the basics, but called basic ones, but if there is a big infrastructure, then there all there are already to make files present, and I just modify them according to my requirements. Okay. But yeah, I have a bit basic understanding. Okay, sure. So, how many of you feel that some document and some a session on that also will help? Type me in the chat box. Because I have to see how 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 and when I can accommodate. Because anything extra means that you are in, you are indirectly saying that Acha, Saturday we are mying. The reason is because Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be the sessions. 
one day each so that you go through the document and you understand all the stuff and you do your work saturday and sunday so that you compensate for anything that you were not able to do because let us be practical life happens was it a deadline wo and all those things so now anything extra and definitely the the bonus sessions where i i i am already in conversations with some people and one of my mentee only she commits to kernel she is working for amd and she is already committing some code to kernel not a big thing but yeah in kernel code khud ka signature hai aur khud ka naam hai matlab i don't know maybe after 50 years also that name is there right that's the power of open source so she will tell her experience so i take from everyone that if something can really add value to your resume and you can talk about it you are okay to come for a saturday session am i right great okay now we are done with the tdd now let's go <coughs> yeah in the tdd document that you are going to get remember i i wrote one driver i told so you will see how test driven development is used to develop an spi driver what is that spi what what is it i am using that spi for to communicate with no it doesn't matter as long as i provide read write and all those st stuff it can be anything it can be a memory chip or any other thing but what is more important for me is did i write test you know, test cases so that if i automate tomorrow some test case that it can initialize my driver and during the initialization if some written code is not as per the expectation that it flags some error what is the test case what is the test actually does something that it goes ahead and examine some behavior when it is deviating the test case has to give an indication that something is not working as per your expectation boundary anything yes you are right it could be a boundary condition or something so let us start with a very basic thing that the particular controller spi controller inside the chip has to be initialized and then once you have once you have initialized maybe you are having a static variable or you are having some flag in the memory somewhere indicating that the driver has been initialized the reason is because कभी कभी कुछ कंट्रोलर्स में ऐसा होता है कि यू कैन नॉट गो फॉर डबल इनिशियलाइजेशन सो सम स्टेट हैज टू बी मेंटेन फॉर द ड्राइवर ऑल दोस फाइनल डिटेल्स आल्सो कैन बी कवर्ड एंड फाइनली रीफैक्टरिंग फॉर मेंटेनेबिलिटी नाउ हियर इज द थिंग द एडवांटेज ऑफ दिस टीएफटी दिस टीएफटीपी इंप्लीमेंटेशन इज इफ यू हैव an ortos environment where you have a tcp ip stack which has also udp implementation you can port this tftp on that in the free ortos website or if you look, if you go and look at free ortos source code there is one project where the tftp protocol was used along with udp to implement some operation on a device some iot use case the underlying operating system is something that you put it as linux but if an in, if an if a job description says that you need to have an experience with ortos remove linux bring ortos now what is the only understanding you need to know little bit of functioning of udp बिकॉज टीसीपी तो वैसे भी आपके पास है टीएफटीपी तो सॉरी टीएफटीपी तो वैसे भी आपके पास है लर्न द आर्ट ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स अंडरस्टैंड बिट अबाउट यूडीपी यू आर रेडी फॉर दैट काइंड ऑफ जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन आल्सो सो नाउ दीज आर द यूज केसेस रियल वर्ल्ड एप्लीकेशन व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू नाउ डू इज फॉर्मवेयर अपडेट because firmware update is a bit involved process but you cannot 
imagine like this you have certain binary and you have to flash onto the device your transport mechanism or when i say not transport mechanism but the management of this chunk by chunk sending of something and getting an acknowledgement where you want that particular protocol or that mechanism to do this kind of thing you don't want it to be super heavy and you also don't want to be so trivial that the upgrade breaks every now and then byte by byte hi beja ja raha hai and here is the here is the beautiful beauty thing tftp protocol as such runs on udp nobody restrict it to run on plain i2c kind of stuff or something because at the end of the day for a use case like firmware update i have to send one byte and one byte and one byte the intelligence of tftp in terms of understanding that whether the byte has gone and did i get an acknowledgement is already there in tftp udp is on is only a transport protocol how many of you understand this terminology transport protocol in the seven layer model or even the five layer model wo wo hamare liye gaadi hai it's a truck now tomorrow you you take uh, vande bharat express doesn't matter you getting my point which means you have now the various flavors of this project one flavor we are, I, i already discussed tftp ho gaya use case to firmware update hi hai we, we are not deviating from the use case tftp on ortos or embedded linux your choice tftp on udp or any other direct physical protocol your choice <coughs> a project where artos is needed but not having enough memory to accommodate a bigger piece of code like tcp ip or udp par firmware update to hona hai tftp is robust enough to do that can't i send it on i2c or something there are pros and cons but what i am trying to say is the lower layer below tcp ip doesn't matter much when i say lower layer till the last minus the physical layer which is, which is also that you can decide any questions here i really want to pause here and really want to understand if people are udp yeah not ump is udp so yes aapka kuch questions hai any question from your side no harsha swaminathan mera bas ek question hai main ya ya ji aapne kuch der pehle ek baat ki thi ke koi bhi communication protocol uh, abhi tak socket mechanism ko replace nahi kar saka to so, actually socket mechanism se aapka matlab tcp ip UDP भी है या यानी टीसी पी आई पी और यूडीपी ऑब्वियसली लेदे लेदे हैं एटलीस्ट जो मेरी अंडरस्टैंडिंग है तो क्या आप इन दोनों को साथ मर्ज करके एक सॉकेट मैकेनिज्म की बात कर रहे हैं या आप कोई और बात कर रहे हैं और हमें कोई और चीज समझ में आ रही है नो 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 आई 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 मेंशन सॉकेट एज वन ऑफ द पावरफुल आईपीसी मैकेनिज्म्स दैट वर क्रिएटेड बिकॉज़ दे आर कॉल्ड बर्कले सॉकेट व्हिच वर डेवलप्ड इन बर्कले टू एनेबल कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू प्रोसेसेस रनिंग ऑन टू डिफरेंट मशीन्स but distributed okay let me let me give this analogy see at the end of the day we are talking about communication between two entities now let us give any name to it there is process one there is process two let us stick with this terminology because it is widely prevalent and it is understood what i am saying is if the task le, ah let me give an example ls pipe or uh, ls pipe comma some other tool like word count or something everybody knows pipe one of the ipc mechanisms ls is also in my device 
the word count is also here. Now you can say that no, 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 LS can also do some like if I have a if I give the absolute or some path to some file which is located far away also and try to do an LS on that, you can do that. But what I am trying to say is even if you do that, the process which is running here, which is LS, you are LS, right? To do something on some other process which is far away uses socket is what I am saying. Is this point clear? Uh, can I know who asked this question? I don't yeah, I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. Till, till now you understood? Yeah. Yeah. So what yeah. I am saying is, do not bring TCP IP into socket because socket is a very generic mechanism. When you are creating a socket, when you say that family is AF INET. If you look at the socket programming, you will say that internet protocol, internet family of protocols. In the same way, if you look at the Linux, there is a family of protocols called AF Bluetooth also. For communication mechanism, to ki hai. pipe means pipe, which enable communication from one process to another process. In the same way, socket is a mechanism to enable communication of information from one process, which is staying in my computer, to another process, which is staying in another computer which is far away, thousands of miles, maybe a server. For example, you have your web browser, you trigger a communication mechanism saying that I want so and so web page. The web page is hosted somewhere in the server. How it is going inside, whether it is using TCP, whether it is doing UDP, I am not at all talking about that. What I am saying is the IPC, inter-process communication mechanism which is the socket as of now is widely prevalent. There could be something which has come but I don't know. I see that socket is something which is still widely prevalent as a communication which is IPC which is inter-process communication mechanism still valid today for enabling communication of a process A to have that communication with process B, where they are distributed, not in the same device. Does this answer your question? Okay, question answer. Okay, is like an equal question. Then we are a very key. Joe Maripa seven layer architecture. Rota, Usme EG socket process, socket mechanism things. Maybe I'm placed at a yeah, yeah. Do independent processes ko se chalane ke liye use ho raha hai. Ye iska nahi hai. Understood. I got. I got the thing. So this is this is this is a kind of doubt I understand. I I used to have some point of time, and I know why people get it. If you want to work with me personally, where I guarantee to work with you until you secure a well-paid job. Book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link is in the description. TCP IP, sorry, not TCP IP. Whatever is the stack that you are talking about, the seven layer stack, OSI. It is a framework. If I give you a piece of code and I say that, can you break it or can you isolate physical layer from it? Can you isolate network layer from it can you isolate transport layer from it when i ask you cannot do that this is only for your for our understanding to ensure that a layer pe aisa protocol aise protocols hoga this layer does this matlab responsibility dene ke liye wo layers hai they don't actually do they don't really exist they exist as some protocols and some interfaces between those different software modules to talk with one another. So I want you to detach yourself from the socket programming tightly coupled with OSI model. It never is and it will never be. OSI model is a model to enable us to understand that count kya kaha pe rahna chahiye aur kya karna chahiye. 
and i'm if you really go and look at the code there will be some piece of code which will do two to three activities of the same two to three activities that fall into different layers first thing is that now socket has nothing to do with osi or any protocol stack socket is just like ipc you have two processes if you know what pipe does or what shared memory does in a system to enable communication between two processes socket is enabling you if you are process a to communicate with process b which is distributed and thousands and thousands of kilometers away your confusion has its genesis or birth because you married two things which are not related and that's where the thing is osi only take it as a model and most of the cases let me be very clear not complete osi made a model gets implemented anywhere it's the five layer tcp ip model clear clear or do you still have yeah 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 it's clear <laughs> yes this is the boon and this is the bane of having so many concepts the terminology is being used left and right by everyone to mean different things in different context we have to live with it so always always ask for the con context before you give meaning to the content then the things will be very very clear <coughs> okay so these are what we are going to solve in this particular project we will develop a minimalistic tftp server and client we will ensure that our apis are very easy to attach with underlying infrastructure like an artos or embedded linux in in the last two to three sessions i will give enough documentation and also a session where you will understand how your particular tftp implementation can be ported onto one of the popular devices typically raspberry pi because that is what is the board that i have as per the rfc of trivial file transfer protocol we have all these operations rrq write request read request data acknowledgement and error you can think it as an op code or you can think it as an operation it doesn't matter but the tftp in tftp these are the operations that are there now to to give a very big picture not big picture a concrete picture think of like think of these five things like this assume them to be inside an enum what i am trying to say in your code you will have ultimately like hash define rrq 0 has defined wrq1 so that in the protocol when that thing comes in your switch case you do a particular activity clear but what happens inside that case is the protocol stuff high level pe to protocol tftp a operations karega par what actually what series of steps or what collection of steps makes this thing that's an entirely different ball game and that is what you need to get from the rfc rfc 1350 which is the trivial file transfer protocol rfc <coughs> so we will also understand a bit about requirements functional requirements performance requirements security requirements usability and environment requirements but these are from the bit from the protocol perspective and bit from the use case perspective kyunki ultimately me tftp code likhke taaliya to nahi bajaunga because it's only half of the story where am i using it and using that what is that i am doing clear <laughs> so here is what you need to do over the weekend 
go and look at the UDP file because Friday you are going to get that TDD file. You you have to read that document. Monday will be the actual project uh, requirement document, but I have given a little bit of hint like it is a firmware upgrade kind of thing. So you can go free and understand a bit about it. Practical parts are go ahead and implement the source code which is there in the document. And TDD ka document mein jo hai, try to understand it more and more before you let the idea sink in your mind. Because ek, ek bar hum project requirements ka document hone ke baad, which is the fourth file, which is the fourth document, you will be you will be feeling that the information is now exceeding what you can consume in the time that you are thinking about. Very fast, the information will reach a level that you will get overwhelmed. That's why I'm I'm. It's a caution that I'm putting in front of you. Each document is bite sized. Each document is bite sized, but it will accumulate so fast that over a period of time it will become megabyte. Bolte three idiots may that it will become like that. Then it will be tough for you to consume it. Yeah. So any more questions? Yeah. <coughs> yes. It is there, Bhuvanesh, it is there in the document. SPI driver code is there in the document. <coughs> Friday, you will get the document, TDD document. It's there in the driver. Most of the most, see, even the TFTP implementation is there in the document. Most of the things are there in the document. But I want, I want you to take the document as a representation. Yeah, because it is not like, Are, because that hero has done that hairstyle that I will also do that hairstyle. Fine. You do that. But it's a representation. Right? So take it as a template and try to do on your own. Go through the RFC and all those things. Yes. So... Yeah, Yash, any other question that you have, Swaminathan? Snehal, any question from your side? Snehal, any question from your side? No. Okay. Let's start asking questions. The, the one question that you asked might be something which is a question for others. And that person is silently saying thank you to you. Yeah, Harsha, you are not audible. You are on mute, Harsha. Today's work is to review the doc clearly. Yes, please. Today's work, you can start off. If you have the Linux environment, type the code and use that UDP server and UDP client. And how to, how to compile a C code, make stuff. Yeah, make, make content also. I, I remember I have put it in the workbook. The last part, I think, is the make part in the workbook. And compilation of a C code in Linux environment, I know I have added it. And GCC compiler specific things I have added in the workbook. IPC, I spoke a little bit in the workbook. So that that workbook, I I I, I, visualized, I visualized it as a document where you can quickly refer even before an interview. Because it has those elements which are commonly used. Yeah. 
Yeah, Harsha, please go ahead if you have any question. Yeah, I know it is clear. Please go ahead. You are audible. So my question was, sir, the uh, so the first document that we got had a lot of uh, like code, uh, especially system programming related code. Uh, it is a workbook. Yeah, yeah, workbook. Okay. So uh, how how depth do you suggest us uh, that we should go? Uh, because there are a lot of things that are new to me. Uh, I think uh, how the yeah see the, the workbook I told is a is a document I had a vision for it as 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 a collection of those things that you can refer for interviews and all those things so you can go in sequence but the handouts for this particular project will take you in step by step process. So you don't have to worry. That's why when I spoke about UDP, I, I introduced the socket programming concept and other things as a UDP server and client. Because if you see the document, I actually there are actually socket API also, then send to receive from, remember? Do not, these documents are like you are, uh, you are, uh, how should I say? Your guide post, once you understand a bit about it, you can explore a bit more on internet or from some standard book. Uh, so, 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 so I ended up with the pages guide, I think, PEG guide uh, to understand the concept. So, if I think, like, if possible, sir, you just name one or two. Uh, it's a generic uh, if possible. When I was moving from Robert Bosch to Cisco, which is a networking company, if you want to work with me personally, where I guarantee to work with you until you secure a well-paid job, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. Link is in the description. I read B's guide for IPC and B's guide for Unix network programming. I did not read anything more. I did not read anything less. I had okay, okay-ish kind of knowledge with respect to C programming, C programming on Linux. What people need at the end of the day in interview is that conviction that you can handle the things and a, and a proof for that. That is why I insist commit every day on GitHub See, these, these are the three man these are these are the two things that i actually told right one one is for the for your uh, complete attendance in the sessions and write code and push it to github then that github whatever you have pushed put it as a post on linkedin i want you to now visualize for yourself that after 30 days when you turn back and see that you have a requirements document, you have a high level design, you went through a proper structure of creating something, low level design, and then you started coding something, everything went into GitHub, and there are green dots for every day. Because when you commit, GitHub shows a green dot, right? Whenever you commit. I want you to form a habit of reading and writing code every day. Consistency is the key and repetition will do the magic. Everybody clear with this aspect? Any questions with this guy with these three at this with these two activities? लेकिन हम उस चीज को लिंक इट वी आर बोस्टिंग इट 
और तो उसमें हम एक्चुअली नॉइज क्रिएट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि हम शायद वो कोई ऐसा काम नहीं कर रहे जो बहुत ज्यादा ग्राउंड ब्रेकिंग और दूसरों के लिए वो बहुत ज्यादा हेल्पफुल तो एक इस चीज का जो एक सिंड्रोम इम्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम सॉर्ट ऑफ कह लें या इसको कोई और वर्ड दे दें तो उस डाउट से किस तरह से फिर बाहर आया जाए मैं आपको उस माइंड से किस तरह से डील किया जाए ओके द द सिंपलेस्ट व्हाट यू टुक द वर्ड इज वेरी परफेक्ट इट इज इंपोस्टर सिंड्रोम नाउ हियर इज माय क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड यू कम टू नो अबाउट मी लिंक्डइन यू हैव द आंसर सी यू 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 स्टे ऑन लिंक्डइन टू क्रिएट नेटवर्क नाउ व्हेन यू आर इंटेंडिंग टू क्रिएट अ नेटवर्क लेट अस से योर मियर प्रेजेंस ऑन लिंक्डइन for some hypothetical reason imagine for a moment that people who are into architecture civil engineering are getting connected to you do you think that network is valuable to you no yeah so it is not boasting it is saying that what is that huggy is saying that i am diapers mm mm-hmm. right and maggie is saying that i am noodles it can never happy the happen that maggie will say i am diapers and huggies will never say that i am noodles because they know whom to target and they need to talk about like that so if you are eyeing for something big it is absolutely needed that people at bigger level see you you need to make some noise it is not boasting boasting is something that you don't do it but you show that you have done it waise bhi to doodh ka doodh pani ka pani interview to mai ho jayega people are not so naive that they blindly believe what is there on inter- on linkedin or something trust factor to build karna padega na thoda bahut that to attract that interview thing so it has nothing to do with your <coughs> imposter syndrome also somewhere someone intentionally planted in your mind that are are aisa nahi karna hai somewhere in your family they told that any khud ke bare mein utna nahi bolna hai kahin na kahin to kuch to hua hoga because of which you are thinking that if i say something it's like i am boasting so talk about yourself and i would say actually if if you want to clearly come out of this thing there is a book called as brag b r a g and you need to brag about yourself till somebody mana khud ke liye abhi to hum taaliyan bajayenge aage ja ke koi aur to bajayega hamare liye football people cricket people everybody needs cheer leaders right those people jumping with all those ribbons and all those things and for that you don't have to do a ground breaking thing we don't want to break the ground we want to change our life yeah okay you brought very relevant thing and i know this is there for in many people's mind also <laughs> so let's do a round robbing 770832 i don't know the name any question hello yeah yes aapka kuch question hai let me put for gallery view so that i know everyone okay no yes yeah, sneha can other people be on uh, camera so that i also in the meantime take a screenshot also Kit. Oh, never expected that you will call us on camera. Very relaxed in my home. Evening time. Snehal, Bhonesh, Madan, Nikhil, Bhaskar, Sabarish.
we will be discussing more and we will be discussing so much in tftp that you will say dubara tftp mat bolna we will go to that thing because you need to un really know we, we will take tftp in uh, each command wise write request read request yeah step by step so harsha okay great so if there are no questions uh, this video will be downloaded uh, i mean it will be uploaded into the playlist but after processing it will be made available yeah there are no questions then we are good to go unless you don't if you don't have any other questions no questions nagendrika okay so see you all again on friday please be on time so that we can also cover more ground yeah see you all again on monday sorry friday so engage in the group it's open no monitoring no policing nothing don't spam bye thank you thank you